Well, the Royal Rumble is what everybody's talking about. Uh, I think this is about as good as WWE has been. Uh, we saw the uh, surprise entrant of Booker T, who got a nice little uh, ovation from that hometown Texas crowd. Mm-hmm. Well, Houston, San Antonio, we'll round it up. Uh, but they were excited to see Booker T. I was excited to see him do the old spin Uh, it was a cool moment for Booker T and all of his fans, but the real story was Gunther coming in at number one, breaking all the previous records, outlasting anybody in, in Royal rumble history. And then number 30 was no surprise. They had announced it ahead of time. Cody Rhodes comes in. And after the rumble seemingly was over, it was almost like they had a singles match where they're still just trying to throw each other over the top rope. Yeah. Nominal performance and a crazy pop for Cody Rhodes. Yeah. I think a lot of people were nervous going into this. Hey, what if they want a surprise? What if they want some of these other rumors? It might be stone cold. It might be the rock. It might be Sami Zayn. And instead it was Cody Rhodes, but man, they were fired up for it. I'm yeah. happy for Cody. This is going to yeah. be a fun and we, and we both picked that. We picked the same person for both. Yes. We both picked Rhea and we both picked Cody. So absolutely. Rhea looked fantastic. Well, speaking of Cody, uh, Chris wants to know if you could offer one piece of advice to Cody Rhodes right now, what would it be? Uh, something that his dad would say, you're on a lightning bolt. Kid, don't get off. Yeah. Have the death you take it easy. He done a lightning, lightning bolt. A lightning bolt. He done a lightning bolt. <laughs> While the rest are out back and laughing and a joke, and you're out front cooking and a smoking. <laughs> Can you imagine how excited Dusty would be? Oh, now? my God. He's excited now. He's, he's drinking a crown well right now. <laughs> Marco. Or, or a Coors Light for sure. <laughs> 